I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all be we had a lot of snow this winter, more snow than I remember. And what that means is that we're mainly stuck indoors. Being stuck at home has its own benefits. I find that when I'm at home for a while, that's when I'm really starting to see my house and starting to clean it up and organize it like this poor tea strainer that is in desperate need for some deep cleaning. Why waste a perfectly blizzardy weather and not spend it on decluttering and reorganizing your house? This is exactly what I plan to do this week and I invite you to join me. This is gonna be a week worth of projects mainly around my kitchen. For the first project, I'll be organizing my measuring cups and measuring spoons. Right now I have them on the top shelf of the cupboard. Not only is this hard to reach, but they're also sort of haphazardly up there, taking too much space and not serving as much purpose as I'd like them to. One thing I really appreciate about videotaping my little kitchen projects is that I get to see my space from the outsider's perspective and I find that it inspires me to look for better solutions, to look for more convenient options. You move things around and you improve your workflow and suddenly you look at the final project and think why did I never think about this before this is exactly where this object was always meant to be like this measuring cups I'm I'm actually so excited the way it all turned out and even this little uh, apple peeler it found the perfect spot right there way back a year ago. I found these hooks in my husband's boating and fishing equipment and they're actually so perfect for this project because I get to hang all my measuring spoons on them. And voila, just like that, the first project is complete. I also wanted to share this appliance that I recently got. It's a percolator. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, you use it instead of the coffee machine and it sort of cooks your coffee for a more traditional flavor. It also has a stainless steel interior, which I love because I get to clean it really well for a really fresh tasting coffee every time. Another day, another project, and today is so incredibly cold despite the sunshine. So I thought it would be a perfect day to change around my son's boots. I just got him a pair of new boots and what I usually do is add some extra insoles because his poor little feet are always so so cold. So these have leather and wool as the first layer of insoles.
I cut up those insoles from the larger size adult insoles so I have more material to work with like this little fluff of lambskin that I add into the toe to prevent the toes from freezing. I put back the boot that came with the shoe and then the lambskin insole that I also cut up from the bigger size insole. Now the whole family is matching, the papa bear, mama bear, and the little baby bear. Another freezing cold day, but I am really happy because the sun is shining. And I also got a few things for the kitchen that I'm really excited about. This bread maker is something I was looking for. Uh, for a while but I couldn't find a wooden one also I got just a few little things to organize kitchen here and there and then this curtain rod I'll show you later what it's for I got this bamboo bread storage in Winners and it fits perfectly in this kitchen. I love it so much. And finally, I don't have this plasticky bread somewhere right in front of me. <laughs> it really annoyed me. I like to have things hidden away and not to have any packaging on the counter. I'll set it this little bamboo tray just for my son's snacks. Easy to carry around. This kitchen is pretty small, so I try to use the space efficiently. So even this little corner gets to have some sort of storage. And uh, this little shelf I got on Amazon and it really does help to utilize that awkward little corner there. This curtain tension rod I got for dual purpose. I want to use it to organize my hanging plants because they've sort of been out of control going into the sink by now. They're just too too long and that's the only place in the house where I can put them really because my son pulls on things and my dogs eat things. So <laughs> this is a perfect place to keep those long vines. I really love this garden twine that I got from dollar store and it's really convenient to attach things around the house and I like that it has this little roll with a self cutter so that worked perfectly to attach my vines around this curtain rod and I do think they're getting actually a lot more sun here so they're probably gonna grow even longer. Now for the final touch, I'll be adding the shower curtain hooks that I got from Dollar Store and I'll be using them to hang my wooden brushes to dry overnight and the stainless steel brushes just to make sure that they dry correctly overnight and last longer. I need a paintbrush. You go and get one for me. My son came from preschool and he's drawing with his dad, creating a, another masterpiece for today's evening. 
my mom who is staying with us is making a delicious supper and everyone is busy doing something that we like which is a perfect way to end the day <laughs> our supper is ready now so this is where i'd like to end this video i hope everyone has a peaceful and lovely week whether you're buried under mountains of snow like we are or baking in the sun next week i'll continue with my projects and hopefully i'll see you then bye now i like my pictures like this not exposing on the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs>